Salam everyone. So today in this video we will learn about how we can have a zip code auto populate the city and the state field in a form. So to do this in Microsoft Access we will first need to have access to this file that has all the zip codes and the related city and states for each. So I also included here the longitudinal as well as the latitudinal coordinates just in case you want to run some analysis using maps or geolocations. So uh, since it is there, I will keep it there. But to do that, um, to do that, we will need to modify this database that has been already done. So this team has already worked with their database. They so I will look at the relationships, and I am looking for the resident address table. So that's the one that I'm interested in. So now I am going to replace the state table with the zip code table. So I will need to create a table. I will call it zip code. Um, that way that will replace the state and uh, we will need to do some modifications for it. So let's get rid of this table and recreate our zip code table first to get it uh, to work. So I will also delete the TBL or use state from here because I don't need it. I'm going to replace it with a new table that I'm going to create. So let's create this table using design. So what I will do here is just kind of to make it easy because I want to match what I have here because I'm going to import it later in order to be able uh, to be accurate with the names. I will just copy and paste them from the titles here. So the same thing now for the next guy. And this table can be provided, I, will, I might provide it to you uh, through email. So now at least we have, yes, so we need this guy too. Because I'm going to just dump it into the database and then we can work from there. All right, so now I will need to select zip code. So I will use the zip code as my primary key. And then I will save this table and I will give it a uh, meaningful name, so I'll use the abbreviation for it, TBL, for the naming convention, zip code, camel case. So now it is done for me. I will save and close. And before I, yeah, I can just save and close, or I can populate it right away. <clears throat> so let's populate it before we before I close it, so now I can just import this Excel file into Access. So I will just go to External Data, Excel, I will browse to where it was saved. So I called it here Zip Code Database Primary. And then I will need to append it since I already created this file or this uh, table. So I'll append and I will look for this table that I just created. I'll click OK, say yes. So now it is uploading, so I'll just wait for it. OK. So I'll retry. So it says it is busy, so let me save this guy. So it seems to be because this guy is open, so I'll close it. I'll go back and see. And I will try it one more time. So I'll select this guy. And then I will make sure that I append it to the right table. So let's try it one more time. All right. All right, now it's working. So I'll finish and close. So now I should have it populated. Perfect, looks good. So I'll save this guy and close it. Now I will need to bring it here and connect it to 
table resident address. But before that, what I will need to do, I will need to delete the state and zip code from here and recreate them because they were formatted in a different way in this table. So let's say, first let me bring that table first here, the zip code table that I just created, where I will say show table, then scroll down, here it is, I will add it, uh, so it is here. Now I will not attempt to connect it to the zip code because I need to have kind of zip code, I want this one also to be called zip code and I need also them to match in terms of the data type, size and so on. So let me open this guy here and then what I will do, okay, I'm just going to have to save time because I, what I will need is I will need um, the state because it was programmed to be looked up the state in this table so that's why I need to delete it and the zip code also because I'm gonna rename it I'll just uh, say this is the state I'll just put it here and zip I'll put it here so this is very important uh, step. I need to delete those guys now. That way I can avoid any mismatch between those two fields. So now I have everything good. You know, I can just do anything else. And we say we want to call this code the zip code. That way it matches the name of the table in the zip code table. Uh, what else I can do? I can just drag the zip code if I want to there. So save this guy and close. Now I can just connect them easily. So this guy into the zip code and enforce. Now it is connected so I should be good to go. Now this works. Now I will need to create a form and I will see if it will work and also I need to insert a little code there. So I will create a blank form and then what I will need to do is I will show so blank form and then show list. If you don't see that just click on add existing field that way you can see which uh, table I'm interested in. In this case I'm interested in the address table. Here it is. So I'll select the fields that are in this particular table. So now it is uh, selected and it is ready. Now I need to make a little code for the zip code. So I need to select the zip code text box and then I need to go oops and then I need to go to the design property and enter you just expand this one that way you can see under on click, actually not on click, I want to choose before or after update. So after update, I need to click on this three dots, code builder, and then I'll, this uh, window will pop up. And this is basically the template for that code. So I already have the private sub, the top one, and the bottom one. So I need those two guys. So basically what it says here, I need to put the code me dot the text state, the name of the text box here, actually it is called state without the TX, txt. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's modify it here. So let's do this. I'll just copy and paste it. So I my uh, state name here, it is state without text, so I'll put it state, look up, the state is fine, and then I call this table, the zip code table, I called it tbl, tbl zip code, camel case. So, and then zip code equals, and then I call this guy this text box, I called it zip code, capitalized. So I call this guy me dot 
zip code capitalized. So that's the end of the first um, line. Second line it says me dot city without txt. Look up the lookup city zip code table. And we'll just copy and paste this one because the table, the name of the table, I called the TBL zip code. So I'll just put it here and zip code me. Here we call this one also me dot zip code. So I'll just paste here with a, the exact name of the zip code. So this should take care of that. So I'll save this guy here and I will call it form, uh, I'll call it here. Zip like this. So FRM zip address. So I'll say okay. So I'll save this guy and close it. Now I can activate my address or the form that I just created for the address. Let me add a new address. Let's say that I want to add address for this person. So I'll just put here room number one, let's say. Now let's put the address of our university, 66106. Enter, boom, you got it. So you see that it worked. Now if I want to change it, let's say where I live, or not where I live. So let's say that University of Oklahoma, they have an address here. So let me put that University of Oklahoma address and then enter. Boom. Beautiful, isn't it? So good luck to you guys and uh, I'll see you soon.